hilarious failure. Hey, it's me, Amber Rocher. This right here is how you can unlock any sort of iOS device that is updated to the latest update, such as my iPad Mini here. Know how to access it? Now bypass the little password block here. So you cannot get in it at all without the password. Oh, I hate autofocus like so much. There, that is so much better. Here, so now it requires a password no matter what. Unless you try this. <clears throat> okay, so first things first is ask Siri, what time is it? Here you are on my home screen again. What time is it? For it to think. Unlit. It's 6.48 p.m. Good evening, Alexa. Now, tap on the clock. Then, now tap on any clock. In this particular case, I'm going to choose Denver. It's actually two hours behind. I have Eastern Time Zone. So yeah, so well, here we are. So here, now wait until it's the next minute, which is just that. Now hit the home button. And then you're in, instantly. You're in instantly. How amazing is that? You're in. You're in to your phone. Your iPad. You're anything. And just to make it creepy at the end. For hackers. No hackers should hack. Using this method. <laughs> this will surely prevent hackers. With my new lock. It doesn't work on any other devices other than the iPhone, the iPad mini, and a couple more devices. But never the Macintosh or the Macintosh. So this is a video if you want to get into your phone, but never ever use this if you are a hacker. Or else the system will then know that you're a hacker. And Siri will literally come out and haunt you. Literally. I've tried this once when I tried to hack my mother's phone. It was so scary. And it happened at 3 a.m. And it woke me up. It, 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 it's just terrifying. Like, literally no hacker should try this. Or else someone will actually haunt your house. Literally. It happened. It actually happened. I knew straight off that I wasn't even dreaming because I stood up for the rest of the night. And I tried to do all the dream signs possible, and I knew that I wasn't in a lucid dream. And I also knew one thing else. That I'm not in a hard dream or an acid dream. Hard dreams means that it's hard to tell if you're dreaming or not. Acid dreams means that it seems like real life when it really is not real life at all. <laughs> okay, so thank you so much for watching, you guys. Okay. Okay. okay.